I love meeting the people of the community and having them come back and tell me, I loved your pork chops, I love your sausages. You know, we, we get so satisfied when we eat it. You know, your chicken seems to go further than what I get at the grocery store. I love the eggs, my cakes are better. That's just, a, that's a big deal to me because I know that they are satisfied with what I'm doing, so what we're doing must be right. As far as our pigs, we don't bring anything off the farm. Everything is raised here. So we're what's called a farrowing to finishing operation. Each pig that we process or butcher out is all raised here. We use a notching system of the ears so we can register our pigs. They're registered Berkshire pigs. So we use an ear notching system. That way we can identify that pig from the time it's born to the time we process it. So we know what that pig has eaten. We know the health of that pig. We know that we've had to treat it for anything. And if we've ever had to treat it with an antibiotic or anything like that, it does not go into our meat processing. We will sell it individually out of sale barn that way. So we know what's in our meat products. As far as Berkshire, they are a unique pig. They have a different pH than any other pig and it leads it to, it's a more juicier, it's a tender piece of meat, it's a redder piece of meat. You know, it's that not that white pork that, that we've been sold on as being the other white meat. No, it's a red meat and it's a delicious meat and it's, Berkshire is also called Kirabuda which is a Japanese word, and a lot of the top chefs seek that Berkshire pig because it is a unique flavor, and it lives to sell to cooking very good. It keeps its flavor, it keeps its juiciness. And with our chickens too, we get them as day old chicks, so they're moved through our process, you know, from the time they're a day old. So we know each health of the, those birds that we do. And as far as our lambs, they're also, we don't really bring anything off as far as our lamb products, everything is raised here. So it's, it makes it unique that we can follow that animal from birth to processing. And we know just exactly what has been in that animal, the life of that animal. And we also use an animal welfare processor. So we know that even in that part of it, they're taken care of. The dogs, uh, we have great Pyrenees. They are instinctive protectors. Uh, if you put them with flock, we've got Junior uh, stays with some lambs and chickens. Lily stays with our chickens. Uh, Imogene is with our ewes and lambs. They will keep any predators out. The challenge is, is just the everyday. It's, you know, you have, you're dealing with a live creature. So, you know, there's health issues that you have to deal with. You're gonna have losses, and it, each one is heartbreaking. We never wanna lose an animal. We never want one to be sick. And every day, it's 24 seven. They have to be fed every day. They have to be checked on every day. So you give a, up a lot of per, what I call personal time or vacation time, because these animals, like our cow that we milk, you have to milk her twice a day. It's not gonna, she's not gonna say, okay, don't worry about me today. So it's that every day you're dealing with a live creature that takes care and just work. I'm gonna tell you it's work. The funniest story is my husband, uh, he loves the pigs. I mean, that, that is his big thing. He loves working with the pigs. And one morning I came out to the, it went into the barn and we had one of our sows, one of his favorite sows in there. She had had her piglets. And he, I walked in the barn and I hear this voice come out and said, oh, well, there's my sweet girl. I just love you to death. And I'm smiling thinking he's talking to me, but no, he was talking to Jenny Lynn, our pig. So that was one of the funny moments. I always kid him about that. He loved Jenny Lynn more than he loves me. Farm Day started about a year and a half ago and it was just another thing to introduce the farm to the community. With Small farms like us, we don't have a big advertising budget. You know, our budget is basically feed. We're going into our feed process. So it was just another way to open up the farm to the public and introduce our farm to the public. And I decided to invite other farms on and other vendors on because these small businesses, it's hard to get your foot in the door. And it's hard, you know, there, like I say, there's no advertising budget for you. So asking these other vendors to come on opened up a little bit of my with their circle of friends it opened up my circle of friends too so it got helped get our name out and it helped these small businesses around here too it gives me a different place to set up um, a different population you know just 
any opportunity to meet new people is a great thing for my business. It's an integral part of my business. Um, a large portion of my funds come from Farm Bay. It's just to keep a healthy product. Keep a healthy product out there. Be able to share the farm with, with the community. Introduce kids to the animals. You know, a lot of kids these days, you know, they don't get close up to a pig. They don't get close up to a chicken or anything else. So it's inviting the community to come on, see the animals, see how things are raised. You know, know where your food system is coming from, know where your food is coming from. And that's a big thing because people don't know anymore what's going into their food and where their foods are coming from. Probably just the day-to-day -day learning. Um, there's always something new to experience every day. Um, there's new life every day. Um, even the hard days, there's new life in the hard days. Even the easy days, there's new life and, you know, just something to learn every day. This has just been such a fun ride. I'm not ready, you know, I'm ready for this to just keep going. I'm ready to see what the future holds with the farm. Uh, I know God's blessed us. I know that, you know, I'm, like I said, I'm living my prayer with this farm. And it's just interesting to see uh, how things are moving. It's when you think one door's closing, it seems like two more doors open up. And it's just, it's been, it's a fun ride and I'm just ready to see where the farm takes us.